Hey there, Cancer. Welcome back. This is Renee, and this will be a general reading for February. So, if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. Okay, let's get some energies, Cancer. Some energy for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, we have service. Okay, I feel good when I can help others. So you may be in the helping kind of mood. You may be doing some kind of community work. You may be deep in the community setting, volunteering, or you may just be helping others in the mood to give rather than receive. We also have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So yeah, I feel like you are being truthful with yourself in this situation. Maybe you're being honest about your intentions, but I feel like it's moving you to finish things i feel like you're you're very busy right now cancer i feel like you're you're moving to get things done ease and grace yes okay and we also have courage and bravery so <clears throat> there's something that you're doing something that you're really trying to take care of and i feel like you're just kind of biting the bullet and getting it done this may be a bill that you've been putting off some kind of um maybe a ticket maybe you know something that you've kind of been putting away but i feel like you're finally getting things done you're finally putting things to rest you're coming to these conclusions we also have the power of purpose so i really feel like you're in this movement in this action of finding you know what really means the most to you um, the number 18 may be very important to you you also have the number 41 a higher view in the bottom <clears throat> so cancer yeah I feel like you're you're like taking the high road you're trying to find out these answers and you're trying to find where they fit into your life. You're trying to gain a perspective. You know. Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's going on. Get a message for Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Venus. For Cancer's highest good. Please. Message for Cancer. Okay. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Beautiful. The Justice card. Definitely what I was feeling. You're working in something. The Two of Cups. Wow. The Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. You're taking action. You're being assertive. The Page of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Two Knights already. Okay. And the Emperor. Beautiful. And we have the Tower. Okay. So lots of changes. Lots of things are happening for you cancer but i feel like with this tower you're coming into some kind of revelation you're making some kind of change some kind of or this is the universe making the change for you and now you have to kind of get a perspective on where you're going next you have the knight of cups at the bottom so i feel like you know this tower may have come as a surprise it may have what towers usually do we're not seeing them coming but you know this tower had to happen because something wasn't stable 
this this tower had to happen to kind of move you into the right direction kind of detour you into the right path sometimes towers happen for us because you know we're we kind of veered off of what the universe has for us you know their plan um, so we have a tower moment kind of to steer us back into our reality into what you know the universe has planned for us you know they used to say that um, if you want to hear God laugh just tell him your plans you know because God has a plan for us God has a way for you to go and even though that may not be what you've planned that's what is planned for you for your greater good so I feel I really feel like this tower is happening to steer you towards the plan that was intended for you to go on all along so there's no need to worry about this tower I feel like this tower is just for our greater good just to steer you back into the path that you were intended to be on okay we have the Queen of Cups and the Justice card <clears throat> okay now this could be your energy because it is a water you know cancer you are a water sign so you could be dealing with emotion right now um, I feel like your emotions could be up and down kind of dealing with the day-to-day -day, you know but I feel like you're you're finding your balance you're finding your grounding you know she's dipping her toes into the waters of emotions but she's covering her cup because she's protecting what she loves she's protecting the the people the things the um, things that bring her happiness she's protecting her emotions but she's doing so for her greater good she's finding balance you know the justice card is also like the cause and effect so something that you may have set into motion you're now getting rewarded for you know it's kind of like your karma coming back for you what you did in the past is now coming as a reward for the future and now if you are looking for love or partnership I feel like you're very open to that I feel like love is actually there for you to grasp onto we also have the four of Pentacles so I, I feel like this may be something that you're holding close to you you find it very valuable you you're putting a lot of attention into it um, and typically that's what we do with new love we kind of put a lot of attention into it we kind of protect it and try to mold it to see how it fits for us and now this could also be something that you're kind of keeping a little secret you you may not be telling everybody that you found this love that you know this person is coming into your life you may be keeping it a secret at the moment but I feel like you find it very valuable you find this interaction with this person very valuable okay so we have the the knight of wands and the page of swords so I feel like you're taking action you're moving forward you're you're taking initiative and I, I feel like at this time you may be very busy um, with the 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 knight of wands this could also be you like getting ready to go on this new adventure this new journey you know kind of taking in all of the excitement and you know just being a free spirit with the page of swords I feel like some kind of communication is coming in for you this is kind of like a breakthrough energy um, you're getting some kind of information that's going to bring you clarity that's going to really open your eyes to a situation this can also be your curiosity about something so you may be researching something you may be you know looking at someone's background looking um, spying on somebody 
in a way. You may be checking their social media or they may be checking yours. Um, but this is, this is typically um, curiosity. Searching out answers to questions you may have. Okay, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're really looking for stability at the moment. You're really looking for that reliable person uh, who you can rely on in any kind of situation. I feel like this is also you finding that stability, using your resources, having patience, and working very hard in your situation. You know? Because I feel like with this Emperor, look at this. You know, you're starting out with emotion, but you're ending with control. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, Cancer. You're finding your control. You're becoming a um, powerhouse. You know, I feel like the, the emperor, <clears throat> the emperor is very respected. It's a father figure, true enough, but it's a leader, a true leader, someone who's very reliable, very resourceful. I, it has all the c categories for, you know, to be someone in power. Like, if it was a business, this would be the president, you know, the VIP. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, you are really coming into your own cancer, especially with this emperor energy. I feel like you're, you're taking control of your situation. You feel like you have more control of your life. You're becoming more stable, more reliable, and you're figuring out the answers to the questions that you may have. So it's beautiful energy. Let's get some more messages for cancer. What do we have for cancer, please? Okay, yeah. The Ace of Wands. You're taking a lot of action. I feel like there may be sparks, like ideas just flowing, just coming to you. This is also a new beginning. But I feel like some action that you're taking needs some kind of decision. I feel like you're taking action on which path to take. You may be at a certain crossroads needing to make a decision that's kind of important for you. And I feel like that, that Ace of Wands energy is like giving you that spark to make this decision very wisely. You're yeah, definitely the Nine of Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you're... You're like putting your doubts to rest. You know, you're like leaving them behind. You're letting go of the doubt. And I, I'm not saying that there won't be times when you will be in doubt. But I'm saying that on a certain situation, you see the clear answers. You see the clear path. You're making a choice. So you're leaving that doubt for that situation behind because you have those answers. For some of you, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like the the nine of swords is some kind of insecurity. There may be some kind of situation that you're insecure about. This may be this two of cups that's bringing some kind of insecurity. Maybe um, with it being on the two of cups and the emperor, um, maybe you kind of are rethinking a situation maybe you have doubts that you can take control of a situation that you know you can lead what else do we have okay we have the knight of cups of course <clears throat> So with the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is a gift that you're not expecting. This is a gift that you're not expecting that's going to help you make the choice. It's going to help you come to a decision um, about a certain situation. This also may be communication that's coming through that's helping you make this decision on a more stable level. Um, 
Yeah, okay. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're moving away from the doubt. You you are just taking your action and you're you're taking your action and you are building your confidence. So you're definitely leaving this doubt behind because the Queen of Wands, she doesn't have any doubts. She's fully confident on what she's pursuing. She's fully self-assured that she can do whatever it is she sets out to do. She's she's manifesting this energy, this liveliness, this, you know, being courageous and fearless. So I feel like you're definitely moving away from that energy of the Nine of Swords and you're becoming the the Queen of Wands, you know? You you're pushing past that energy. Okay. Yeah, we have the the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. This is that give and take kind of energy. This is finding balance. This is, you know, someone giving the same amount of energy as you. Give and take. Or someone offering you some kind of generous gift that's going to help you get back on track. You know, that's the Six of Pentacles energy. Um... Some kind of help on your journey. See, we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so Cancer, being your true Cancer self, you know, I, I want to let you know. Because Cancers can sometimes drift off into a certain depression. They kind of have highs and lows. So, uh with this nine of swords this could be some kind of emotions that are kind of pushing you down to bring you into to some kind of depression and then you can have high highs where you're feeling really confident you're feeling very you know active and assertive and ready to just take on the world but then you go back into this eight of swords energy where you kind of box yourself back in Get out of that energy, Cancer. Move past that energy. Don't box yourself into this situation. Don't bind yourself into some kind of self-imprisonment. Um, be around people. Be around people who care, who support you. And I see that, you know, with this Eight of Swords, you do have support. You do have reason to celebrate. So I do feel like you're... You you may spend a couple days alone, a couple days kind of wallowing in some kind of emotion. But I feel like you're going to get back out there and you're going to socialize and be happy. Be around people who care and love you. Okay. Okay. At the bottom, we have the King of Wands. So you have the Queen and you have the King of Wands. So you're definitely, you definitely have this fire, this spark, this boldness this power the king of wands is very similar to the emperor because he's very bold and assertive he's very courageous and fearless he doesn't you know fear what's coming because he knows he has control to you know push past any kind of challenge any kind of obstacle he doesn't let anything hold him down because he knows he's strong and he's wise and he's capable. So I feel like that's the energy that you're kind of moving yourself in. And it's very beautiful, Cancer. Very beautiful. See, you're finding your power of purpose. Okay, let's get some Moonology cards. Let's see what Moonology has to say. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Yeah, you're on the winning team, Cancer. Something is coming around that's going to bring you a lot of hope, happiness. We also have conclusions are within reach. Yeah, so something's becoming final. So Now look at this at the bottom. A fiery climax approaches beautiful energy you you are moving into something that is going to be beautiful and now look at this believe in the impossible 
You go, Cancer. Expect powerful change. Wow. Okay, I'm loving this, Cancer. You are on the road to your power. So, I'm really loving this. Let's get some manifestation, moonology. I always feel kind of funny saying that. Manifestation, moonology. Okay, let's get some cards for Cancer. Okay, we have last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. You know, use your intuition. You know, trust in yourself. Trust in the universe. But use that gut feeling, you know, Cancer, because I feel like a spirit is letting you know to, you know, don't talk faster than what your emotions are feeling. You know, very interesting. We have unleash your kindest self. So yeah, be kind to yourself as well as be kind to others. Don't be your worst judge, um, Cancer, because sometimes you can be a little hard on yourself. So be kind to yourself. Be kind to others because that positive energy is going to build up and it's going to push you into this new beginning after this tower. You know, um, beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving this. At the bottom we have last quarter moon in Gemini. Clear your mind. Clear your mind of the clutter. Don't overthink the situation. Move past any negativity and just move forward. We have a lot of wands in this reading, so I feel like being assertive and taking action is going to be very, very beneficial. Just be a go-getter. Just do it. You know, like Nikki says, just do it. Because there, there's a lot of boldness, assertiveness, just confidence. And you may be gaining your confidence, Cancer. Let's get some more cards. We're going to get another deck of tarot. And <clears throat> see where the situation is going. Give you some more clarity. Okay. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. First card out. Happiness. Abundance. Being secure. Stable. Building a legacy. This may be some kind of inheritance as well. Um, cancer but I feel like this is like happiness abundance some kind of money you're coming into that's going to make you feel overwhelmed okay some cards wanted to fall out so we're gonna go ahead and take those we have the two of wands more wands of course being assertive taking action and with the two of wands this is you know, you're waiting for results, but there's still a choice that needs to be made. But look at this. She's holding the world in her hands. So she has all the answers. She has all the abilities. You know, I feel like cancer, you have the world in your hands. So whatever choice that needs to be made, I feel like you're able to do so with no worries. You also have the Nine of Cups. So this is leading to some sort of wish fulfillment. Some sort of contentment in your situation. So whatever this is, I feel it's leading you to more money, more abundance, more happiness. And something that you've been waiting for. Something that you've been wishing that could happen. This may be something that you've been manifesting. Because we also have the Ace of Cups. So something's going to lead to a lot of, you know, happiness. A lot of love. And like I said, if you're open to love, I feel like love is coming in. You're kind of overflowing with emotion here. There's some kind of gift. Some kind of new beginning in love that's happening for you. And we have the Ten of Swords. So there's something that had to end in order for this new beginning to start. 
There's something that you're letting go of. And it's pushing you towards your healing. You have healing. You have balance. You know, this is a renewed start. A renewed hope in your situation. The star can also represent miracles. Miracles happening in your life. And wish of, wishing upon a star. Making a wish. And it coming true. So beautiful energy. You know what? I'm going to get a few more because I want to know more about this. Tell me more, please, Spirit. The Two of Swords. So, yeah, I believe we had the Two of Swords earlier as well. So, I feel like there there is an important decision that needs to be made. And it's something that may be a kind of hard decision. Um, I feel like she's blinded. But she, her hands are not bound. You know, she's going through this decision, kind of blindly making the decision, while these two people are kind of at battle with each other. So it may be a situation that you have to choose between two people. You know, you may have to make a choice. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely, I feel like this is something that you worked very hard on. There's something that you worked very hard on that you put a lot of effort into. But I feel like you're now mastering that. Um, <clears throat> you've learned your craft. You know, now you're enjoying the, the work that you've done. You know? Very interesting. We also have the Six of Wands. Beautiful energy. That's your success. That is your recognition, your rewards coming forward for you. And if you look, you know, they're, they're recognizing this person. They're holding them up. They're cheering. They're celebrating that they've come home from battle. And they've been victorious. So he's fully being recognized. For all of his effort. For all of his success. So there's something in your life that you are being recognized for. You're getting rewarded for this situation. You've got your victory. You've got your success. And now you're being, you know, <clears throat> people are looking at you taking notice. Okay. Well, that's why I'm going to leave this reading. Well, no, I'm not. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm going to take two angel cards. Okay. Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? We have Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Beautiful. So after this tower some kind of changes, some kind of abundance, some kind of powerful change is coming your way. Beautiful energy, Cancer. We also have Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Beautiful. I'm loving this. We have Focused Intention. Think about what you desire and set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Beautiful. So something that you are manifesting into your life. Spirit is letting you know to focus on your intentions. Set your, high, your sights high. Dream big. You know, because the universe wants to reward you on your situation. You have your success. You have your victory. Beautiful. Okay, Cancer. Now, this is where I'm going to leave you. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um... I've got one more reading to do and all of them will be up so you can take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Okay, and until the next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.